suggesting that he did it. I'm just stating what the evidence reveals. I, I have always been real careful. There was a time after the first uh, Paradise Lost film came out and, and then the second one came out on HBO that everybody in the world thought uh, Mark Byers did it, and they were quick to point a finger at him, and I never did that because I think it's wrong to uh, accuse people of something uh, that they may not have done. And until we know for sure what happened, we don't, we shouldn't point fingers um, because that's what happened to these three convicted teens. Right. So uh, I may stun you by saying this as well, but but um, I think we're probably looking at a serial killer. That's been my theory for for a long time. And we have a foreign DNA sample that was uh, found inside one of the bodies of the victims that we can't account for. It does not match any of the samples, the known samples in the case, including Mr. Hobbs. So uh, I've been told by uh, the people working on the case now that um, perhaps within the next six months or so we might be able to have the technology through DNA to amplify that sample and then we'll have our killer. That, how how were they killed, Judge? How were they? they... It, was, it was horrible. Um, these three eight-year-old kids were, were bludgeoned, um, and uh, then their bodies were thrown in a water-filled creek um, near the third busiest interstate exchange in the country. Uh, you could literally throw a rock from where the bodies were discovered to, to the uh, interstates 50 and 40, where they or 55 and 40, where they converged there in West Memphis. Were um, they abducted? Well, it appears that they were because um, they were naked and bound with their own shoestrings, and their clothing was found uh, submerged in the creek as well. So uh, the last time they were seen alive, they were riding, three of them were riding two bicycles down the service road about 6, uh, 15, 6, 20 p.m. on May the 5th, mm -hmm. and their bodies were discovered on May the 6th, the following afternoon about 1 o'clock. So there were three... So, Three of them, and they were on bicycles. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. There were two of them were on one bike, and and uh, the bicycles were recovered in a larger drainage ditch, uh, probably 50 to 75 yards uh, uh, downstream into the or the smaller creek feeds into the larger creek. And they, and they were bludgeoned to death. They were bludgeoned, um, and uh, they uh, had fairly serious head wounds, but. Uh, the, the medical examiner determined that um, uh, two of them drowned and one of them uh, bled to death from, from uh, sexual mutilation, which we now believe um, was caused by animals post-mortem. So there may not have been any mutilation at all like uh, everyone right. originally thought. There was no sexual assault that they know of or anything come up with post-mortem with that or no? Other than this... Uh, Swab. I think it was a penal swab on one of the victims that has this foreign DNA on it. Um, there was no indication that they had been sexually assaulted. Although the prosecution argued that uh, at trial, because that's what Miss Kelly's statement said, so they had to play the hand that was dealt them. But there was no evidence of that. There was no physical evidence to, to support and they, that. And they weren't closed, closed at all, or the clothes were all. No, off? they weren't. And and there's a lot of uh, animals. Uh, that are, are around that part of the state, and um, the leading, the world's leading uh, forensic uh, uh, folks have said that this was definitely uh, post mortem, and it was done by animals. So that completely throws out the prosecution theory that this was a satanic ritualistic homicide. Which I will point out, the uh, Ken Lanning uh, retired from the FBI, did an exhaustive study. There was also a study done in the UK uh, shortly thereafter that found that there's never been a single documented case of satanic ritualistic homicide ever documented on the planet anywhere. Uh, let me let me do something that I haven't done in a long time. Ask the judge something here. <laughs> I mean, when I ask, but uh, <laughs> some questions regarding the case. Now, you say, uh, okay, and I'm going to come up with something stupid here, but, but just hear me out for a second. Now, All right. uh, how far were the bicycles away from the bodies? Approximately 75 yards. Is it possible, and this is going to sound stupid, Judge, but is it possible that they were hit by a truck on the thruway and and, and, and that's that's what killed them? No, there was no damage to the bicycles the damage, at all. Okay. They, were, they were just tossed in there to throw people off, the people who were looking for the body. You see, but that and, was stupid, uh, but it was something that that's the way my mind thinks. You know? No, no, that's a very good question. And, of course, you know, we're speculating a lot because we don't know for sure.